Richard, I wanted to ask you, one of the things that you have gone into is understanding behavior through conscious and non-conscious motives, such as desires, fears, values, and goals, as we've talked about. Can you explain a little bit how those underlying forces shape our actions and how understanding this more clearly can be applied to bringing about more meaningful behavior change? Um, sure. I'm just going to take an example. Before we were talking about the different kinds of motivations that can underlie behavior. And one of those kinds of motivations categories, I guess we could say, is called interjection. And this is when we're living our lives trying to fulfill maybe the standards that were somebody else's standards that we whose approval we want, or maybe we've internalized some standards, but we haven't really reflectively thought, well, why am I pursuing these things so hard? I'm going to give an example here. I have a former patient who she was really a, a top performing musician. And all her life, she had been told that she was going to be a great musician. And indeed, she had some talents in that regard, but she had never really reflectively chosen that at all. And she was really doing it toward the end of fulfilling everybody else's dreams that maybe weren't her dreams. She had to explore for a bit whether that was really her. And that meant in some ways letting go of her music for a bit so that she could re-explore who she might be with respect to it and then come back to it with more of a sense of ownership and authenticity in what she was doing, which in her case, she particularly did. Sometimes people will find that the values they're pursuing aren't really their own values, and it's time to let those go. Sometimes they find, well, I didn't really have the right reasons for them, but as I look deeper, these are the things I want to hold on to as values. Sometimes they more internalize them, but these dynamics that go back to, say, conditional regard of parents or parents who like gave you love and affection when you lived up to their standards, they can really drive a lot of behavior later on that turns out to be not very authentic. And that's why I think being curious about why we do what we do um, is really important in life, because uh, sometimes we find out that our, our goals are not really our own goals.